Hello and welcome to another iPhoneNerd.com tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you something uh, rather simple. Um, we're going to be covering today how to upgrade your 3GS without upgrading the baseband. Now we all know that if you upgrade to 3.1.2, you you will upgrade your baseband and you will lose your unlock, and nobody wants to do that. The problem with this is there are, there aren't really any tools for Windows, so Windows users are kind of stuck with either having to wait or search the internet for unreliable sources. Uh, so we at Nerdlo have this at, at iPhone Nerd have decided to make these custom firmwares for you, uh, and you will use this custom firmware basically to um to to upgrade to them, and then everything will be fine. The first thing that you need to make sure before you actually even begin to use this is you want to go in Cydia, especially if you have an iPhone 3GS. You should be on 3.0 or 3.0.1, and you want to go in Cydia and you want to just verify. Once this loads, you'll see at the top of my screen. You want to just verify that you have an ECID on file. Uh, the reason for this is because you can redirect if you see this green uh, text, um, this green text up here on my on my screen it says this device has a 3.1 ECID SHSH on file you need to have that on your iPhone and the reason why is because once you upgrade to 3.1.2 let's say you install something we all know that you can install stuff from Cydia that's a little laggy or buggy and might corrupt your phone let's say it corrupts your software and you need to restore iTunes is no longer gonna let you restore back to 3.0.1 it will only let you restore to 3.1.2 so in the case that that happens, you want to have one of these on file because you can set iTunes to verify through the Cydia servers instead instead of the uh, Apple servers. Um, and there will be a tutorial on how to do that for you guys. Um, <coughs> so basically, once you once you see that, if it says pending SHSH on file, then I would not do this. I would wait till that uh, that clears up and gives me the green to go. Um, once that's done, you all you basically have to do is just open up your browser and go to iphonenerd.com and let's just let this load here real quick you go to iphonenerd.com and it should be on the front page if it's not because news gets gets posted daily as it comes about it should be on the tutorials um, it should be right on the home screen it should say download custom firmware 3.1.2 to jailbreak the iphone 3gs mac and windows so you click on that and there will be two different choices you have the not activated one which is this one right here and you have the one that is activated if you're a T-Mobile user you don't want your baseband to be upgraded or if you're using your phone unlock period with any carrier you don't want your baseband to be updated then you need to get the activated one and not the not activated one the not activated one is only for AT&T customers only that will upgrade your baseband and will just jailbreak the activated one will jailbreak and unlock your um and will allow you to unlock your phone and leave you on four uh four point two six. Uh basically after you download that, all you have to do is just open up your iTunes and shift restore into that uh into that firmware. If you don't know how to do that, I'll do it here. You can stop watching the video here if you know how to do this. You just have to open up your iTunes, it'll give you the this iPhone whatever and then it'll say there'll be a restore button there you just hold the shift key if you're on Windows um, option if you're on Mac and you just browse for that file I suggest you do it you, you save it to the desktop and you browse to that file and you just restore from that make sure you have the home screen when you do it because if you're on DFU mode more than likely on the 3GS is gonna give you a 1600 error uh, if you guys have any issues or problems or any concerns, I would like to remind everyone that we do have a live support system. As you can see here, it says click here for live support and it is online. Um, you can use that system to chat with me or chat with anyone else that's on our team. Ask any questions, if you're having any trouble updating, if you have any questions in general about your jailbreak, unlock, even if you have questions about nerd load, you can just use that. It's pretty nifty. You just click on it. We're online most of the time. You click on it and you you put in the information and you just give us a shout and we'll help you as best we can. Um, that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, stay tuned. There will be some updates to Nerdload that we want to be talking about. So those videos are going to be coming out probably today, and more customization videos are on the way. Thank you very much, guys, and remember to subscribe.